Those that use machine guns against thousands of local residents and students who try to block their way. And the army convoys lay the break through. Soldiers continue to spray their bullets indiscriminately at crowds in the street. Eyewitnesses say some armored vehicles even crossed foot soldiers who hesitated in front of the resistance civilians. Radio Beijing English Department. Nazi news they started in a tragic incident. We appeal to all the listeners to join our protest for the gross violation of human rights and the most barbarous suppression of the people. Because of the abnormal situation here in Beijing, there is no other news we can bring you. We sincerely ask for your understanding and thank you for joining us at this most tragic moment. That was the announcement made by Wan Ning, an announcer from the English Language Service at Radio Beijing on June the 4th, 1989. This past week marked the 25th anniversary of the Tiananmen Massacre, or what the Chinese government to this day calls an incident. I'm Andy Sennett, and on this special edition of Focus Asia Pacific, we're looking back at what happened 25 years ago. There was no exact figure on how many civilians and military personnel were killed. Today, 25 years on, the Chinese government refuses to release this information. Official government figures put the total dead at less than 100. However, military doctor Zhang Yanyong, who was a surgeon at the People's Liberation Army Hospital Number 301, estimates the total number of dead to be in the hundreds. In 2004, Dr. Jiang wrote a letter to the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress and to the Vice Chairman of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, pushing them to investigate what happened that night and to admit to the people of China and the international community on what happened to the brave students.